but like, I hate this. I actively hate this. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be chatting about some new makeup releases, what I think about them, and if I want them or not. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I am a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup, especially indie makeup and colorful makeup. And I have new content every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. So this is the first time I'm trying a video like this. I've been wanting to do this for a while since actually before I even started the channel, this is a video I wanted to do. I enjoy watching these. I just haven't had the time to try it. It seemed like a lot of editing, a lot of work, and I've just been too busy with school starting back up. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I am a PhD student. I am teaching and TAing and dealing with stuff. So it's been busy. So this video is inspired by Samantha March. I think Samantha March is the first person to really try this and start this really popular video trend. Um, and then I also watch Angelic Nyquist and Nikki Raven do this basically every week, I think. And then I also watch Teresa's Dead's Makeup Bingo. And I really love hers. I love the fact that she gets a little drunk while doing it. And I do want to try Makeup Bingo one of these days, but that looks like even more work. So that's a later thing. But inspired by Teresa's Dead, I am drinking. Uh, tonight, right now, I have a hard kombucha. This is... They put the name upside down because you're supposed to like flip it to mix. Um, but it's Midnight Painkiller Coconut Pineapple Orange and Nutmeg. And it's interesting. And if I finish this, I'll probably grab a White Claw because that's easy. Okay, so brief disclaimer. If I don't like something you like, it's not, don't take it personally. I, we all have opinions if you like something I hate, that's fine. If I hate something you love, it's fine. We're all individual. Do not take that as a personal attack and just have fun. Makeup should be fun. Makeup's not that deep. Unless it's a company that only makes uh, palettes and makeup for really, really fair skinned people. And then it's definitely not that deep and important and that that's a problem. But otherwise, makeup should just be fun. So have fun. So I actually film on my phone, so I can't easily open Instagram on my phone. So I grabbed my old iPad and I'm going to be using that. Instagram on this is not the best because they don't make an iPad version, at least on mine. So it's just the normal iPhone version, but big. Um, I do want to get a camera for my channel eventually, but I feel like I shouldn't invest that much money in it until later. I'd rather invest that money in things that I want to play with and review. So. I've pulled up Instagram on here and I will insert photos as we go along or videos if there's a video and I've just gone back about a week on trend mood and stuff and let's see what pops up. I definitely have opinions on some of these and some I can already tell I've never seen before. So I scrolled back about a week and the first thing I see is the new Natasha Denona holiday releases. So it's the mini Metropolis and the baby glam palette. So these are cute. I really want to buy the Mini Metropolis. It's the kind of palette that I would use all the time. It's got this really beautiful mustard tone, a dark brown, and then those shimmers look beautiful. I like that it's $25 and has a brush. I am very tempted by this. I don't have the Big Metropolis, but I want the Big Metropolis. And the reason I'm probably not going to get this is because the three shades I like the most, other than the dark brown that I have plenty of, are from the big one. They're just the same shade. So the only reason I'd really buy this is if I really loved those shades, used them all the time, and wanted it as an easy travel palette, but I don't really travel that much right now. And her palettes are magnetic, so I could always pop them out and put them in a magnetic palette or something. So probably not buying this. I might get it for a gift for someone. And then the baby glam is cute, but it's one darker shimmer from the glam palette, which I have. They're all repeat shades. And then two of the really pale shades that I don't really use. So it's like the really pale transition shade and then one other one. Um, that was my problem with the Glam palette. I really like some of the shades in there and that's why I bought it. But I didn't like the naming thing. That's It's been like a year and I'm still annoyed by the naming of like, this is transition, this is smoke, this is whatever, because like I'm only a medium skin tone and the transition shade is way too light to be a transition shade. The shade I use for transition is, I think, the blending shade. I don't know. But, like, 
it's just, it's a cute little palette if you know a very light-skinned person who would want this. Uh, um, the next thing is Tower 28, uh, a little holiday bundle of two of their lip glosses. I've heard great things about their lip gloss, but they put avocado oil in literally everything they make. So I can't try it. I'm allergic to avocado and I've tried products with avocado oil in them and it was not good. Um, lip glosses specifically and my lips like had an allergic reaction and like turned red and they got like instantly chapped, which is not what a lip gloss should do. So I will definitely be skipping that. And then there's the new Kylie Cosmetics Nightmare on Elm Street collaboration thing. And one, I don't like the Kardashians, Jenners, that whole clan. Never watched the show, have no interest. So I've never tried anything from Kylie, but this doesn't interest me at all. And the eyeshadow palette's boring. Especially for Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, yeah, there's a dark red that's really cute. Um, and a black. And a couple of the shimmers look nice, but no. It's... It looks boring. Yeah, that Dream Demon shade, the dark red, totally here for that. And uh, the shimmer above it, but like the rest of it, mm, no. I just got the Lunar Beauty Moonspell 2. That has nice reds in it and pinks, and I, I don't need this. And I just, I think this is really boring for the theme. Okay, so the next thing on Treadmoon is this monstrosity, and I definitely need a drink to talk about this. So this is the, what is it, the fourth extension of the Makeup Revolution Friends collab. Like, I'm sure lots of people have talked about this already, but it's insane. I've tried Makeup Revolution, I wasn't a fan, and this, it all looks cheap. I don't know anybody that loves Friends this much. Might be because 90% of the people I know are queer, and queer people just, in my experience, aren't the biggest Friends fans, but it just looks so bad. Like, <laughs> it looks so cheap. I remember being a kid and watching the whole, like, turkey on the head gag and thinking it was really funny when I was, like, I don't know, like, eight or ten or whatever it was in the 90s. But, like, this just looks so bad. And the fact that there's two different versions and one has all this empty space because it's only nine shadows, like, it just looks so bad. I don't... And then this third picture here is a close-up of some of the shades and it's all oranges that look basically the same like i i just don't get it i do not do not understand at all like i like who who runs makeup revolution like i feel like they're constantly coming out with new brands and new products and it's just too much and i feel like they even had a whole thing recently where they were like we're launching a new brand that's going to be more sustainable and it was like wouldn't it be better to just make the brands you already have more sustainable than launching a new brand with new products and new plastic and make that one more sustainable. Like it just doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. The next thing on here is something I want, but I'm not buying. <laughs> so this is the new Lightwork Volume 3 Infinite Light Palette by from Danessa Myricks. And this is beautiful. I love this. I watched her video, her Instagram live, looks beautiful. I don't understand why it has a pressed glitter in it. That, eh, that's iffy. But the shades in here are beautiful. It's multi-chromes, it's duochromes. It says it's a pressed glitter, two duochrome gels, two cream powders, or powder creams um, that are hybrid, five multi-chrome pigments, and then four holographic powders, which I'm assuming just means iridescent. They don't look holographic, they just look iridescent. They look beautiful though. Um, those are like big highlighter pans and the rest are normal eyeshadows. And it's beautiful, especially that top row, like Galaxy and Martian, totally calling my name. Polaris looks really pretty. And all of the pictures that she has using them on models are beautiful, but it's $125 and I just, I like it, but I don't $125 like it, and I know that I wouldn't use it enough to justify spending $125. <laughs> like, I just got Natasha Denona Gold um, before it disappeared forever, and I got that on sale, so I didn't pay $125 for $29. I had a 20% off 
And even that, I only knew, like, I could justify spending $100 on this because I know I'm gonna use it all the time because these are the neutral shades I wear all the time. So that seemed justifiable, this does not. Um, so the next thing is this, and I don't know what it is. Let's see, it's Halloween 2021, limited edition Truly Beauty, I don't know who that is. Um, pumpkin Spice Scrubbing Polish, an ultra lightweight sugar-based exfoliant with collagen-packed pumpkin and breakout battling black charcoal. Vitamin C, 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 vitamin C is shown to thicken the dermis, diminish fine lines. Okay, vitamin C does do some good, it does some bad too. Like some people are sensitive to vitamin C, so I don't think you should put in everything. And then there's a marshmallow body butter. I, I'm not opposed to pumpkin spice things. I like actual pumpkin. I think most pumpkin spice things just smell like cinnamon. Uh, eh. This, I don't need a pumpkin spice face thing. The, the image of it like with green goo all over it does not app, does not look appealing to me at all. I, yeah, I don't, I don't like this. And this, this picture <laughs> right here, I'll make sure I insert it with like, burnt pumpkin chunks on top of the face mask polish thing? Like, no, 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 no. What is this photo? It's, no, no, I, no, 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 no. So it looks like, mm, that was very tart right there. Ooh, that was a very tart sip. Um like all the tart of the kombucha, that vinegar, and also something in the mix. Mm -mm. Okay. So the next few things are nopes. <laughs> um, the first is uh, Jouer Best of Nudes. I think it's a, it's another holiday set, it's a lip set. I don't really wear nude lips that much. Um, today I'm wearing a House Labs lip gloss. It's a, like a terracotta shade, but it's kind of worn off from, you know, drinking and stuff. This. Those pale nudes just don't do it for me. The There's a warm berry shade in there that looks really pretty, but meh, I just, it's also just a lot of products. It's three lip creams and three lip glosses, and that's just a lot at once for your lips. So I don't know. I haven't tried Jouer yet. Nothing from them has ever like called to me. So I don't know. And the next thing, which has a lot of likes, is the new holiday from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. So I have never tried anything from Jaclyn Hill. I got into makeup after her hype. So by the time I started wearing makeup regularly and really liking it, she wasn't as big. Um, it was after the whole lipstick thing. It was after all of that. So like, I never got, I was never part of the hype of like her like launching her palettes with Morphe or anything. And everything she releases just looks boring or tacky to me. And I'm sorry if you like her. It might be great quality. I know Teresa's Dead tries a lot of it and some of it she loves and a lot of it she hates. Um, but yeah, this looks fine. It looks like basically super shock shadows <laughs> and a face palette that looks like the face palette looks like the Urban Decay one I have from a few years ago that's been around forever. And I don't know, it just looks boring and I don't, I don't understand the hype or the appeal around her. And I'm sorry for anybody who loves her, I just don't get it. And then the other nope thing, <laughs> that's immediately nope, is this new Morphe palette. Um, this is, it's the um, 35X Big Pimpin', and it's so boring, so boring looking. I've not heard great things about Morphe's quality, but the fact that they just release giant palettes that I don't love in the first place that all kind of look the same and have repeat brown shades in them, like, yeah, there's a couple of shades in here that look pretty, but overall this just looks so boring. Like, I know people who wear these kind of tones all the time, 
but do you really need a big 35 pan palette of mediocre quality for it? Like, I just don't get it. Okay, so this is the new holiday blush palette from Patrick Ta, and this looks really pretty. Um, I know, I think because it's a week old now, uh, Karen Harris already has a video up on this, and it looked nice. I really like that the last two shades, like the really dark burnt ones. The red's pretty in the middle. I don't really like the pink that much, but I don't wear baby pink very often. But like for my skin and undertones, those last two look really pretty. But I just, I haven't tried anything from Patrick Ta, and I feel like people are either split on, it's amazing, oh my god, how did I ever live without this, or it's fine. So, and most of my friends that have tried it have been more in the it's fine range, so. I do kind of want to try the bronzer one, the bronzer duo, and one of the blushes looked pretty. It's also kind of a darker blush, but like, eh. Okay, so this is something I do want to get, finally. Um, this is the new holiday set from Fenty Beauty. So this is a peach lip cream, lip gloss cream, cream lip gloss, that's what it is. I'm not even drunk yet, I just can't talk. It's been a long day and a peach blush. And the blush is her cream blush. It's got a little bit of a sparkle to it. I mostly want this for the blush. I haven't tried her lip gloss and I'm more interested in her regular lip gloss than the cream lip gloss, but I want the blush. I will probably buy this eventually. It's $25. Yeah, I will probably buy this for myself sometime in the next couple weeks especially because Sephora is having their VIB sale soon. So if I can get it for 15% off or whatever, I will, I will probably buy this. I've wanted to try her cream blushes, but wasn't 100% on any of the actual colors, but this peach one, I am very into. Um, and the next that I'm trying to do is the new Hermes highlighter. It's a face and illuminating, face and eye illuminating powder. It's, it's a highlighter. I think a few people already have videos of this up. It's pretty. The embossing is pretty. I think one shade is not good for a highlighter because it's gonna be too light for some people and too dark for some people and you don't know until you get it or if it's watch it in person and it's $89, but I'm not in the market for anything Hermes so I am not this target demographic. This would be much easier to do with my phone because this is kind of heavy. Um, and then this is the post for the new ColourPop NBA uh, collaboration. I think this is a cute idea. I don't think I've seen anybody do anything like this. But... <clears throat> I will not buy it and have no interest in it. I am not a sports person at all. I've never been a sports person. I don't know the rules to any sports games. The only time I've really watched sports was when I was working in Europe and the World Cup was going on and I would go with my roommate to watch because it was like, I need, out of the, I need to get out, let's go have a beer and I'll have a beer while you watch. And I can watch the attractive men in short shorts. Like that was the only appeal. Um, the purple yellow one, the, it's the Lakers. I don't, I don't know, Los Angeles Lakers. Um, that's the same colors as the University of Washington where I'm working, but I would never actually <laughs> wear those. I hate that color combo. Um, the blue one, the blue yellow and the green one is cute. I mean, eh, the green one's cuter in theory. I like the dark greens in it, but the top half of it I don't like. The blue yellow one, the blue neutral yellow one, that one's cute. But I have those shades over and over again. But I appreciate them branching out in their like collaborations since, you know, they launch something every like three days at this point. The next thing is this just came out six days ago. Wow, I've only gone from like seven day, seven and a half days ago to six days ago. <laughs> um, 
is a new Wet n Wild collaboration. This is with Little Twin Stars. I vaguely recognize this, but I don't know what this is. Um, it's cute. It looks cheap though. Um, sometimes even Wet n Wild products that aren't actually cheap, like they're decent quality. The packaging is really cheap or looks really cheap. This looks really cheap. It's really pale. There's this photo here of like three things where it's like a press glitter, a shimmer, and a matte, and then a big palette that's all pale. Like this is just too pale, too cheap looking. I don't know who this is for. I guess this is for children, but you shouldn't give your children press glitter. So I don't know. I feel like I'm being very negative and I don't like most of this, but I'm just a very opinionated person. <laughs> Um, the next thing is from One Size Beauty. It's a bunch of holiday sets. This is the point of the year where everything's holiday. These are cute, but boring. Like it's this, it's like a little eyeshadow quads with an eyeliner. Um, and then there's some other items in here. There's um, lip, butter lipstick set. No, oh, I don't like the word butter in there. Um, yeah, they're fine. I haven't tried Patrick Star yet. One size beauty. I, it looks fine. Um, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of quads. I think they're a little too small. I like six pans is the smallest I really enjoy. Um, quads feel too limiting. So, especially a neutral brown quad, it's just not, not for me. But this would be a cute gift, especially for someone who only wears neutral, like brown, like one brown and a shimmer to work an eyeliner, like this would be a cute gift. So I can see the appeal of it, but it's definitely not for me. So this um, is cute. This is a new thing by Makeup by Mario. It's lip pencils. I like a good lip pencil. I have not tried anything from Mario. I do want to get his, the sculpt stick. I think I'm a me, I think I'm the medium shade, but I'm not sure. I just haven't, it's been out of stock and I just haven't grabbed it. I've been wanting to try a cream bronzer like that, but there's like four I want to try, but I don't really want to spend like a hundred and something dollars to buy all four. So I've just been like, I don't know which one I want. So I'm going to buy none of them um, or they're not in stock, but this is cute. And I like that it has a brush so you can blend the edges. Um, it's a very makeup artist thing to do to have a brush there included. So it's nude shades, some reds. I think this is cute. They're $22 each, so they're a little spendy, but that's on par with his. So I think this is a cute idea and works well with his whole brand. So I think that's a great idea. So the next thing is from Hollow Taco and is probably another holiday. Oh, it's a birthday celebration. Okay, it's a birthday celebration for Hollow Taco and it's $14 per thing. It's frozen bananas and existential crisis. <laughs> Okay, I like the name for both of these, and they're really cute. I, I've been wanting to try Hollow Taco. Um, so is my best friend. I might buy this, especially the name, um, Existential Crisis. It's a really interesting, it's, it, it says, with silver holographic flakes, purple, gold, and holographic glitters, and red, orange, iridescent shimmer, in a deep teal jelly base. I I want to try that. It's like a galaxy and a nail polish, and I really like nail polishes that are more than one texture. So my favorite nail polishes have been discontinued, but I still have them because they're they're not dried out or dead yet, and I bought some right before they fully disappeared, and they're from Essie. And they are they're like a gemstone. I don't remember the name, but they're some kind of gemstone collection and so they are metallic glitter and holographic all in one so they dry quickly because they're metallic they've got sparkles from the glitter and then they're holographic so when the light hits them they like have that oil slick kind of texture and i really love those so yeah i might i might want to grab one of these if i do okay so the next thing is just a like a collection of all of the holiday uh, shit that is coming to Ulta. <laughs> um, and the one thing that I haven't mentioned before is this new ColourPop holiday 
set um, called Charmed, I'm sure, collection. And this looks so repetitive, so redundant in their collection. I just, like, they just launched so many things. They're launching too much. Like, I know that's their thing. They started as a fast fashion for makeup brand. That is their whole entire point of existing. But the fast fashion industry is not sustainable in the first place. And then doing it for makeup just makes it worse, especially because people collect it. And like, yeah, it's affordable. Some of it's great quality, but do you need to launch six palettes every week? Like it's just too much. By the time people get their order because their shipping is terrible and always takes forever, they've already launched five new things. Like it's, I, I just, I hate it. And this is, boring the the charm school one is cute it's got like cool tone browns a gray a black these all look like they have mats with glitter in them which i hate um basically each of these have like a shade or two that i like especially the bottom half but that like the pale only for uncooked chicken shades at the top do not interest me at all i i eh, no i don't like that at all okay so we're actually nearing the top of trend mood. So mostly it's like things that were sneak peek before, like Jacqueline actually releasing. And then we've got new holiday palette from Rare Beauty. This looks almost identical to last year's. I really see very few differences. Last year's was a little more mobby and this has a couple more like a bolder dark purple, but like it doesn't look that different, and I hate the pan set, the pan shape. I hate this like crescent moon thing. Uh, the fact that you get one giant shade and then a bunch of half shades drives me insane. I have OCD, like diagnosed actual OCD, and this no. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like this at all. Um, it looks boring. I. Rare Beauty is a weird brand. I know some people, most of the people I know really hate the foundation, but like, like the concealer. Her blushes, great. My best friend has one. Super pigmented, you need very little, love it. I really want to try her new mascara. But then like some of it, like this, it's like, what? Also that middle shade, I think last year was a pressed glitter and this looks like it might be too. It has that look of a pressed glitter in a pan. So it looks like it's like a few matte shades a shimmer and a pressed glitter and I hate that especially that the pressed glittery looking shade is the big one like uh no 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 it also looks very different in both photos like there's two photos on tread mood and they look very different like the saturation and stuff is fully different so hate that <laughs> another new color pop release so this is like what the third one in just the last seven days like I literally went back seven days um, maybe eight days, but like, so this is the Lucky Penny collection. Um, I like the idea behind it. I don't love the execution. It's, it's okay. It's one of their classic packages. I prefer the cardboard. It's, it looks fine. The only thing in here that I might want to try is the blush sticks. I've not tried those from them and I like a orange coppery kind of colored blush that's my go-to so i'm here for that but the rest of it just looks i don't know i just looks underwhelming some color pop collections i see it and i'm like ooh, I either buy it or i just really want it and don't buy it because i don't want to buy everything but like this hmm, this is something i am buying <laughs> um this is the new blush palette from trixie cosmetics it launches tomorrow. So the day this is going, I'm filming it Thursday night after work. I will try to have this edited and up tomorrow afternoon. So this should already be live when this goes up. Um, this launches 10 a.m. October 22nd. The blush palette is $28. The Just a Girl blush palette, rosy cheek colors inspired by the intense nostalgia for grunge supermodels and the iconic 90s movies. I am here for it. I love the packaging. I love the colors. 
I have all of her other blush palettes. So there's the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, now we're in the 90s. I have to get it. It's 28 bucks. I might buy it for um, my sister-in-law as a present as well. Who knows? There's a cute bucket hat. I'm not going to wear a bucket hat, but I, I appreciate the nostalgia of the bucket hat. Nostalgia? Nostalgia. Um, she always has a lot of merch with them, like scrunchies and stuff like that. I don't, well, I do tie my hair up a lot, especially when I'm working out, but I don't need a scrunchie. The backpack, it's a mini backpack. I'm not going to use that. That's definitely for the teenage fans of Trixie Mattel who buy this stuff because they love her. Um, the lip glosses are cute. I am tempted by them, especially, let's see, there's the Ginger Spice Lip Gloss. Love that. Which is a cinnamon cappuccino high coverage gloss. And then there's the Truth or Dare with this, a sheer taupe lip gloss. Both are $16. I love her lip gloss formula, especially the sheer ones. I have almost all of them, far too many of them. So I don't necessarily need this. And then the, the high coverage ones I like, but I don't wear a high coverage gloss that much because it transfers and I just get it everywhere and I'm constantly drinking and something or doing something. So I'm into them, but I don't know if I'll buy them, but I'm very into the blush palette. All of her blush palettes have a light shade, a dark shade, and a highlighter. So this is a rose blush, an antique rose blush, a burnt umber blush, and then a peachy highlight. And I'm... I am here for it. So that I will be getting up and ordering tomorrow morning. Um, and then we've got new Glossier Cookie Butter Balm.com Universal Skin Sab. I hate the name. Um, I hate it. I don't know what this is, but I hate it. The lip balm. I just hate the name. I balm.com skin balm skin salve. I hate it. Um it's $12. I don't think it's a bad idea. I like lip balms and stuff like that, but um, I hate the name. I have. Okay, so then we've got a few more things up here. We've got She Glam Official is launching a Halloween palette it's called the Wretched Romance, and it's a spider web. And it's one of the pants has like white with blood splatter in it. So I think that's interesting. I've not tried She Glam. But curious what that shade's gonna look like once you start using it. It looks like each photo, the blood's better, looks different. So I'm assuming it's different depending on each each palette or each batch. Ooh, I'm getting the hiccups. Um, I think this is kind of cute. I'm not gonna buy it. Oh my god, it's nine dollars. <laughs> It's a $9 eyeshadow palette? Okay. Um, I'm not gonna buy this, but I I kind of I kind of like it. It's cute. It's a weird big shape though, and I'm not into that, but I like that it looks like spider web and the blood splatter thing kind of gets me, so I appreciate that. But this this packaging, like I don't think I'm gonna buy anything from this. I haven't yet, but this packaging, this is packaging goals. This this like peacock imprinting and this one. Um, the palette looks interesting. Some of the colors, like the color selection is fine, but the packaging and the embossing and stuff, it just looks beautiful. Um, this red one is really beautiful. Um, there was, there it is. I'll make sure I'm, I think this is a highlighter, but it's like got an imprint of this really detailed pattern and then like people writing on camels, like I am here for that. Um, the packaging, beautiful. The lipstick, beautiful. I haven't tried the brand, but you, like, this is top-notch packaging and marketing. And then, let's see, we've got new Huda Beauty. So this is the Rose Quartz palette. This looks like she took the last couple palettes and smushed them together. This looks like she took the new nudes and the Nani nudes, whatever it was, the holiday palette that had, like, the gross pan that looked like a Petri dish. It looks like she smushed those two together and oh my God, oh my God. She has a whole highlighter thing. That's just the Petri dish thing. It's 
Rose Quartz Face Gloss Highlighting Dew. $39, multi-use all-over highlighting gloss that will give you a soft pink glow, sheer shimmering flora formula infused with pink and gold pearl. No one liked the pearl thing in that. Like it was inconsistent because they had to break as you used it and like no one liked that. And people just spent the last year mocking the Petri dish shade in that palette. So she made a whole product of it. Like, do you listen to the feedback of your customers? Do you like listen to what people say? Like, I think this is idiotic and disgusting looking. And I, and if you're not getting one of the little pearls, you're just getting a clear gloss that you're gonna smoosh in your face and probably isn't gonna feel good. Like, I hate this. I actively hate this. Um, the palette is fine, it's boring. It's like thermal pinks with some bobs. Like, it's fine. But like that, mm -mm. no, I hate this so much. There's the new Lethal collection, the Berlin 89. It's an eyeshadow palette to of their liquid eyeshadows that I have not tried and then four of their eyeliners. I already ordered this, it'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> so expect a video on this by Saturday. Um, unless life turns chaotic, but expect a video. I ordered the palette and the eyeliners. I have a couple of their eyeliners, love them. Can't wait to try these, especially the green and the orange. I'm here for that. Palette's really cute. I love this. Um, I can't wait to try it. They're one of my favorite brands. Lisa Eldridge is launching a uh, foundation, 40 shades. The intelligent formulated skin friendly foundation with customizable, customizable medium coverage. I like that. There's one part of this where it says, formula contains a natural mesh like ingredient that fuses with the skin. That, I wanna know what it is as a scientist, but also sounds gross and I know <laughs> Nikki Raven talked about it this last week and said that it made her think of the mask. Um, but if she has a good shade range and a good olive, that looks like it would be my tone, I might try it. I, yeah, I'm, I'm interested, especially with the mesh thing. Like, I have to know what that is. Hi there, editing Colin here. I just remembered that I forgot to film two things that I did want to mention. So the first is Sigil-inspired by Tammy Tanuka has announced their new palette. They haven't said when it'll actually launch for sale. I'm assuming this weekend, but who knows. But it is the, but it's the dumb nut toad, I believe. And it's this cute little uh, toad. <laughs> and the color story is perfect. I'm buying this. I have to have this. Um, I don't know costs anything yet. I think palettes this size are normally about 30 bucks. Packaging is adorable. It's got the little picture of the toad holding a little nut, and it's it's so pretty. The there's a like this burgundy mat. I'll put up some swatches. So there's this like champagne shade, this like green brown duochrome thing, this really pretty burgundy, and then there's like a blackish shade, another olivey tone. She does the best olives, and then uh, some kind of green multi-chrome-ish looking thing. I don't know, but super excited for this. Have to get this. I also forgot to mention that Unique Beauty has a new collection launching. It is the festival collection and it's available for pre-order on October 25th. So that is in three days. So Monday, um, and there's three palettes, like all of her collections. So you can buy them individually or all together. And I kind of want all three. <laughs> so the first one is the Warm Autumn palette. And it's really pretty, just warm neutrals, but that top shade, that s'more shade is calling me. Um, the second one is the Dark Souls palette and all of this is calling to me, especially that second shade down. And then the last one is Tis the Season and is a Christmas themed one. And uh, that North Pole shade looks really pretty. Um, I like that there's a shade called Down the Chimney. And I don't know, I just think it's cute. So I know Nikki Raven is getting this in PR, so she should have a video up about this soon. Um, so watch out for that next week, and then the pre-order starts on Monday. 
I hope you enjoyed my comments and I look forward to seeing what y'all think about some of these. So let me know in the comments below what your opinions of these are and I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you all in my next video.